P0118, engine coolant temperature sensor circuit high input. If you're seeing a P0118 code, that means the engine control module is getting a high voltage signal from the coolant temperature sensor, usually over 4.9 volts. This tells the computer the engine is extremely cold, even if it's not. Let's break it down real quick. The engine coolant temperature sensor, or ECT sensor, is a thermistor that sits in the cylinder head or near the thermostat housing, screwed right into the coolant passage. Its job is to measure the coolant temperature by changing its resistance as the temperature changes. Lower resistance when hot, higher when cold. When the sensor sends a reading that doesn't make sense, like a freezing temperature reading even after the engine has warmed up, the computer sets the P0118 code. Symptoms can include poor fuel economy, hard starting or no start, rough running, misfires, or even black smoke from the exhaust. This isn't a code you want to ignore because the engine won't run properly until it's fixed. What causes this? A few common issues. A faulty coolant temperature sensor, damaged wiring like shorts to voltage, or an open circuit corroded or loose sensor connectors, the sensor left unplugged, bad ground or signal circuit problems, in rare cases a bad engine control module. Here's how you can check it, start by letting the engine cool down, then unplug the sensor and inspect the connector for corrosion or bent pins. Using a multimeter you can test the sensor's resistance, it should decrease as the sensor warms up. If it doesn't change, the sensor is likely bad. If you have a scan tool with live data, watch the coolant temperature reading while wiggling the sensor wiring to spot any intermittent faults. If the reading is illogical or doesn't change at all, check for wiring shorts, open circuits or bad grounds between the sensor and the ECU. Sometimes you can test the voltage supply and ground circuit with a fused jumper wire to max out the temperature reading, usually around the 250 degrees Fahrenheit. If it doesn't max out, the problem could be in the wiring or the ECU. Replacing the sensor is usually straightforward. Just be ready to top off any coolant that leaks out. Once fixed, clear the code and drive the car. If the code doesn't return, you're good to go. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next.